Hey everyone, a quick video to cover the addition of a new 2XL breakpoint in Tailwind 2.0. Up to now, the largest breakpoint in the default config, called XL, was at the 1280 pixel screen width. As devices continue to get bigger with higher resolution, it's becoming more and more common to want an additional breakpoint. Let's take this responsive layout mockup as an example. It's using CSS Grid Utilities. You can imagine that the yellow box is a navigation, the white box is the main content, like a blog post, the blue ones some side content, like related articles, and the red bar some social media share links. We'll start from small, where everything is stacked up in one column, and as we expand the viewport, we'll watch the content rearrange. Here's the small breakpoint, nothing changes on the medium breakpoint, but when we reach the large breakpoint, you can see our navigation gets shifted to the left as a sidebar, and the rest of the content is using the remaining space. When we reach the XL breakpoint, since we have enough space, the aside content and social media links get placed in their own sidebar on the right. Now, if we stretch this layout all the way to the edges of the screen, one could argue that the white content section here is getting a bit too wide. We could make the sidebars a little wider, but how about we take the social media links bar and put it in yet another column by itself. In our grid container, I'll use the new 2XL breakpoint here, which has been defined at 1536 pixels after a decent amount of research, and create an additional column with grid calls 6. You can see the content has now been shifted to the left a bit, and we have an extra column ready to welcome our social media links. In the red bar down here, I'll also target the 2XL breakpoint and tell our grid to make this element start at the 6th grid column line with call start 6. And there we go. Our responsive layout is now giving a little bit more love to users visiting on a large monitor or at a high density resolution.